So you can see the difference already between these two, and that's in a simple click or two. So we can continue on with that. I've selected this viewport, and we're going to freeze a few more layers. We've frozen the toilets there, and maybe we'll freeze the doors as well. So now we've simply got the blank floor plan, as well as a few dimensions and labels. And in this drawing here, we've got all of the other extensive line work for electrical and uh, cabinetry. Now onto the next tip, similar to the viewport freezing, you have the ability to move objects from layout space into model space and from model space into layout space. This can be a great time saver if there's some objects that you only want to show in your layout and you kind of change your mind or if you've drawn some extra notes and dimensions in your layouts but you actually want those in the model space on the drawing itself. Simply using the change space command C-H-S-P-A-C-E and hitting enter is going to allow you to do that. So before we do that, we want to activate our layout. So we're inside this layout, and I'm going to change the space of this note uh, piece of text here because it doesn't make sense to have that in model space. I only want that shown once, and I only want it shown in my layout. So we're going to type in ch space and hit enter. We're going to select that piece of text and hit enter again. And it's going to set the source, which is this active viewport. And then you're simply going to hit enter again. So now it's copied that piece of text into my layout and it's no longer in the model space. That's why it's not showing up in the other viewport because it's not in the model space to see. Now it's in my drawing. I can place it wherever I like. And now it's not going to get accidentally moved or shifted. Or if I decide to zoom in on one of these areas, I don't have that text in here and it's super blown up and out of size. 